Tis a wintry night with a winter's bite, and his train leaves him far from his home. To escape from the cold, he'll need to be bold, and traips through the graveyard alone. He does this almost every night, and thinks himself too old to fright, yet nonetheless he keeps his sight from straying too much left or right. But now there's no bright street lights glow to make the world normal once more. No people he'll find to settle his mind as the shadows snatch at him like claws. And soon the moon is stole away behind the clouds that tries to stay, and by the wind the trees all sway, and neath their roots the dead men lay. He hears a cry not far behind, like a whistle ensconced in a skull, and neath that sound another is found, a groaning, inhuman and dull. He knows not why he turns around and sees a sight which must confound, a fright to stir his heart to pound and send him flying o'er the ground. Whate'er he faced, deigns not to chase, as he sprints like a doe to his door. And once he's returned, so too in turn the street lamps start glowing once more. Yet for all the world's returning, all the night he hears a knocking on his windows, with a whistling not the winds, and neath it 